Pabili po. Sayang. Alright, sige. Thank you. Hey guys, it's me, Jello Pineda, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna learn something about cause and the talk of the town uh, dahil sa Uniqlo release ng mga shirts niya. So, so kumutay na yung isa. So, bakit ba nagkakagulo ang mga tao dahil dito sa sculpture na to? Sino ba si Cos? And why you should be buying these shirts or why you shouldn't be buying these shirts? Let's go ahead and dig deeper today. And at the same time guys, if bago ka dito, please make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Because we are giving away a mystery box or a giveaway box. Let's put it that way. Make sure to stick up until the end of this video to find out how you can enter the giveaway. Thank you so much for checking on this video today and I do hope you guys are having a wonderful day and if you're new here, please make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. At kung matagal ka na rito, tol, thank you very much for sticking with me. Yesterday, it was June 3 and nag-release na yung COS sa Uniqlo, sa lahat ng Uniqlo outlets. And honestly, gagawa talaga ako ng vlog yesterday just to see kung anong happenings and so on and so forth. And pumunta ako dito sa SM Talabastagan so I don't really think na maraming pupunta dyan. But to my surprise, it was 10.05 in the morning. I came in 10 o'clock sa mall. Naglakad from the parking. Pagating ko sa loob ng SM, 10.05, ang dami ng tao. Meron na mga tao na kumukuha ng mga bultuhan ng mga, <laughs> ng mga Uniqlo, ng mga t-shirt, ng mga cost na t-shirt. At ang malupit pa doon, kaubusan na size kagad. I'm uh, usually a large sa mga t-shirt. Dati-dati ako medium. Ngayon, ito maba na tayo. So, large na tayo. Then, okay lang din kong XL. So, naghahanap pa na pa ako ng mga t-shirt kahapon. At ang problema, ang mga large at mga XL, halos na hoard na. So, konti lang talaga ang nabili ko for myself. And then, although yung mga pambata, may mga nakuha pa naman kami uh, para, para kay Alfonso and of course, of course para kay Mrs. Pero, the thing is, bakit magbaliw na baliw ang mga tao sa cost? And kung nakita mo yung video na to... <laughs> That was in Hong Kong. Grabe, are they buying just to wear or are they buying to resell? The question is, meron bang resell itong mga to? So for those people na hindi alam kung sino si Cos or kung ano si Cos, saan ang galing si Cos or ano ba ang Cos? Here are a few things that you should know about Cos. Cos is a New York-based artist who made a name out of designing limited edition toys and clothing. He's also a world-renowned artist for exhibits, museums, and galleries internationally. Usually, yung ginagawa niya, mga sculptures, mga paintings, graffitis. They call him a contemporary artist, so to say. He made the mga art niya, or itong mga to, for example, ito, ang mga tawag natin, mga, although itong mga collaborations na to with, for example, this is Cookie Monster, ganda nakakamali. And then, yung mga companions. Besides this, Cos is also known for his acrylic paintings and sculptures. His most famous for sculpture and grayscale clown-like figure that resembles the Mickey Mouse in his face covered by his hands gained so much popularity that it was it was then incorporated into a balloon of 2012 Thanksgiving Parade. Yung mga nakaganon na or makikita mo para siyang Mickey Mouse na ibang klase na parang uh, hindi ko maintindihan nung una nga nauwirdohan ako. Nagsimula yung curiosity to go with Cos nung nakita ko yung Jordan 4 na Cos. Ang pangalan ni Cos is Brian Donnelly. Now, bakit ba nagkagulo yung mga tao sa Hong Kong? Yung Uniqlo na pinakita ko ninang clip sa Hong Kong po kasi yun. So, bakit ba nagkagulo doon? Ano ba meron sa Hong Kong? 
Recently, on April 1, 2019, at Sotheby's in Hong Kong, a painting by Ko sold for 115.9 million Hong Kong dollars or about 14.7 million US dollars. A new auction record for the for the artist at the time. At the same time, yung Ko's holiday na nagpalutang sila ng malaking sculpture na Ko sa dagat. Uh, tawag doon ay Ko's holiday. Kaya med, talaga namulat na namulat yung mga Chinese or sa pinating karamihan or sa alam mo yun, namulat na yung tao or society sa sa artist na si Kos. Ngayon, going back sa bakit bakit ba marami nag-hoard niya ito? Number one, syempre resale. But the thing is, tataas ba ang resale nito mga to? You buy these for 790 pesos sa Uniqlo. Ako, I don't plan to sell them kasi parang para, gusto ko sila para sa akin. Pero for some people, they can resell it for something higher. At the moment, there are people on some sneaker groups that are selling it for 1,100, 1,200. And ako, I don't really mind it kasi uno-uno sila, that's their hustle. Kanya nang discard yan eh. For example, if you don't have time or you, you don't have access or you basically struggle out sa, sa mga t-shirt or sa mga sizes na available sa mga Uniqlo shops. It's simply because nakuha na ng mga resellers. Pero the thing is, will this resell in the future? So here is a post by Cos on Instagram. Sabi niya, Cos, my brother just sent me these photos he took this morning. I'm excited about this new collection with Uniqlo releasing June 3rd. I really hope you enjoy it because I have decided this collection with Uniqlo tees will be my last. Sabi ni Ko. So, ibig sabihin, yung naunang, yung naunang shirts na Uniqlo na Kos, nakakuha ko ng isa. Isang shirt na lang kasi wala na rin size. Yun yung Sesame Street na collab. And then, nung itong pangalawa, uh, for, some, for some, inisip nila baka meron pang next batch or meron pang next season na magre-release si Kos. Pero, officially, ang sabi ni Kos in his statement on Instagram na it would be his last collaborating with Uniqlo. So, I guess in time possible na tumaas yung mga value ng mga shirts na yan. I guess in time. Pero again, ako, yung mga binili ko shirts, I don't really plan to resell them because those are mine. Pero for some resellers, is it a good thing na nag ano sila, na nag hoard sila? I guess so. I'm actually in between kasi discard nila yun. And then number two, if you really like these shirts, um, siguro dapat medyo naging maaga ka din. Kasi with the anticipation. Although, I must admit, hindi ko na-anticipate na ganun, ganun ang pansin ng cost. Kasi nung huling Sesame Street na release, hindi naman ganun ka kalakas yung yung, yung hoarding nun eh. Or siguro, hindi ko lang talaga nadatnan. At nagkataon lang nang bumili ako, meron pa rin large sizes. Pero at the moment, sa mga mall dito sa Angeles, Pampanga, um, wala na akong makitang large size. Puro mga medium na lang. Tsaka mga, mga hindi ganun ka-okay na design. Yun yung mga may large and XL. So, ayun. Anyways, uh, I do hope na may natutunan kayo or something about sa Kos. Kumbaga parang small background lang kung ano si Kos or san si Kos or uh, bakit ka bibili ng shirt na Kos and are you even a fan or should you be even a fan ni, ni Kos? So, by the way, so itong shirt na to, I just got it kanina. Luckily, meron pang size. Although, it's size medium. Pero, I think okay naman siya. Di naman siya ganun ka lit talaga. So, I'm also gonna be giving this one away to the giveaway box. By the way, hindi na siya mystery box. Kasi, meron, there's this guy. So, this guy commented na nagaano ako ng mystery box. Pero, ina-announce ko naman ko ng laman. So, he does have a, actually, has a, has a valid point. So, basically, yung gagawin na lang natin, hindi na siya mystery box. Magiging giveaway box na siya. And, Ito na ang laman ng ating giveaway box. So, meron tayong shoe cleaner, meron tayong Clyde cleaner, at meron tayong isang cost na t-shirt. And again, as we go along, dadami-dadami pa ang laman nitong giveaway box. So, what you have to do to enter the raffle or enter the giveaway is number one, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Number two is click on that notification bell. Number three is follow me on Instagram. And then number four, hanapin mo yung post na to. And then comment down below with the words, I want, and then tag three of your friends. So, ayun. Once we hit 2,000 subscribers, pamimigay na natin ating giveaway slot or mystery box, so to say, sa one lucky winner. And uh, the draw natin yan, again, once we reach 2,000 subs. So, anyways, guys, I do hope na nagkaroon ng konting liwanag sa inyo kung ano si Kos at ba't ka kailangan bumili ng t-shirt na Kos. At kailangan mo pa talaga bumili ng Kos? I don't really think so. Pero kung gusto mo siya and something na hinahanap mo talaga, yung ganyang klaseng t-shirt, ganyang klaseng vibe, let me know the comment section down below. So guys, thank you very much for checking on this video today. If you like this video, please go ahead and smash that thumbs up button para sa akin. And again, kung bago ka dito, please make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. And kung matagal ka na dito, tol, thank you very much. 
very much for staying with me. So yun lang muna for the meantime and I'll see you on the next one. Peace guys!